Presentation teaching experiment packs are sets of four modifiable experiments for use by instructors and researchers. In this video, we will briefly describe how to set up pack experiments, view the documentation, make modifications and run the experiments. To follow along with the video, you should make sure to have the most recent version of presentation installed. Follow the link on screen to download. Once you've installed presentation, you should also install experiment pack 1. Follow the link to download or visit neurobs.com teaching. To install the pack, follow the instructions on that page or download the file. Double click it to open, then choose a directory to load the experiments to. Once the experiment pack is installed, start by opening the Sternberg scanning experiment. To open the experiment, go to the main tab in presentation, find the briefcase icon on the left side of the screen and double click on Sternberg scanning. The first thing to notice is the experiment documentation button. We can click that button to get more information about this experiment. The documentation includes background information about the experiment, suggestions for modifications, the sequence of events, and information about the data output. Now let's close the documentation and modify our experiment. Remember, you can always go back to the documentation to look up information you might need. Most modification of teaching pack experiments is done on the parameters tab. Parameters are variables or aspects of the experiment that can be changed. They might be numbers such as the number of trials or the size of a stimulus. Other parameters might specify stimulus colors or file names. On the parameters tab we can see all the variables that can be changed in this experiment. Parameters are divided into groups which are different in each experiment. Here we have basic parameters, stimulus info, and other groups. Let's walk through how to change a parameter. In the default fonts and colors group, we can set fonts, font sizes, and colors of on-screen text like instructions. Let's look at the default font color parameter. On the right side is the description which tells us this parameter sets the color of on-screen text. Right now it is black. Below that is the default background color parameter which is white, so we know that on-screen text should be black text on white background. Let's run the task to verify the colors. To run the task, go to the main tab and press the run button. In the pop-up box, enter a subject name and click OK. Finally, click the Run Non-Stop button to begin. These are the instructions and they're printed in black text on a white background. Let's press Escape to exit and try changing those colours. To change the colours, go back to the Parameters tab. To change the text to white on black, we'll start by going to the default font colour parameter and clicking the small button next to the current colour. 
This brings up a colour picker. Let's choose white, then click OK. Now let's change the default background colour to black using the same approach. Now that we've changed the font colours, let's try running the experiment again to see how the instructions have changed. Go back to the main tab and press run just like before. Now the instructions are white text on black background, just as we specified. If we go back to the parameters tab, we can investigate some additional parameters that affect how the experiment will run. For example, let's look at the study group size conditions parameter. In the Sternberg scanning task, participants try to recognize whether a test stimulus appeared in a studied set. This parameter specifies the set sizes in the experiment. Right now, it has six values, the numbers 1 through 6, each separated by a comma. If we wanted to test only even numbers, we would change the parameter to contain the numbers 2, 4, and 6. To save our new parameter values for future use, we need to save the experiment. To do this, click on Experiment, then Save Experiment in the upper left corner of the window. Different groups of parameter settings can be saved as configurations. To see available configurations, use the drop-down menu in the upper left corner. We started using the default configuration called Digit Scanning. There is also a second configuration called Color Scanning. Select it to load the configuration. The primary change is in the Stimulus Type parameter, which has gone from Digits to Pictures. Information about configurations in PAC experiments is included in the experiment documentation. You can also create your own configuration in the drop-down menu. Select New Configuration. In this pop-up box you can name your configuration and select an existing configuration on which to base parameter values. Use None to select default parameter values. Let's create a My New Experiment configuration. Let's reduce the number of trials that are run by lowering the value of trials per condition. Now we'll save our configuration by saving the experiment. Remember that you can make as many new configurations as you want and make any modifications you'd like to existing configurations. Teaching pack experiments are designed to work out of the box, meaning you don't have to change parameters if you don't want to. However, if you want to quickly change how an experiment looks or runs, parameters are a good place to start.